Hello, good morning once again, my dear students. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. Now, today we're going to study about getting the square roots of perfect square numbers. Okay, now, what is a perfect square number? Do you know about perfect square numbers? Okay, I will give you example. Like the perfect square number, like 4, you have 9, you have 16, you have 25, 36, 49, etc. Okay, those are the examples of perfect square numbers. So we can get the perfect square numbers by multiplying the same number. Like for example, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5. So we can generate the perfect square from those numbers. So if you multiply 2 times 2, that is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 4 is 25, etc. Okay? Now for this one, we're going to get the square root. Just like what I have uh, said uh, the, in the last video, that um, in getting the square root is we need to get what is the root of this number. That is why the name for this is square root. Where does this number came from? Okay, now this one is uh, the me one method of finding the square root of perfect square number. Just like here, we have our first example, square root of 676. So for this one, uh, you need to divide first. Okay, you need to find the factors for this number in order that we will know or we can reduce this number into smaller parts. So sometimes you can also divide this like uh, the short division method, okay? So that you can divide what are the factors that we need to use for this. Now for 676, as we divide this using the three diagram, we come up with, with this one, 169 times 4. 169 times 4 is equal to 676. And you will see 169, we know that already uh, because that is a small number, not a small perfect square number. And we know that what is the square root for that number. And that is 13, right? So we know for 4 that it's 2. So for this, we can write again, remember that for square root, we need to make the numbers with power 2 so that we can extract the number out of the radical sign. So we need to uh, change this number into a number wherein it contains a power 2 so that we can cut or cancel the radical sign with the power 2 because the value of the uh, radical sign is 1 half. So if we're going to multiply that with 2, then that will be equal to 1. So that is why uh, if we're going to change this number with uh, a power 2, then it will be out of the radical sign, no more radical sign, and it will be number alone. Okay? So for this, we can write 169 with power 2 as 13 power 2. 13 times 13 is 169. As well as it's 4, you can write that as 2 times 2, or so power 2, that is 4. Now you will see that we have here already power 2 and a power 2. So we can move this out. We can move this out because if we're going to change this into exponential form, the radical sign is equal to 1 half. If we're going to multiply that, it, it will be a power to this, to this, to this one, and it will be multiplied to power 2. And 1 half times 2 is equal to how much? 1. So therefore, 13 power 1. So 13 will be out. The same with 2 power 2 will be out too, just like this. 13 times 2, and we multiply this, and that would be 26. So therefore, the square root of 676 is 26. Okay, now we go to our second example we have here. Uh, letter B, square root of 784. So again, by the use of the tree diagram or the short division method, uh, we can divide this using the prime numbers and we will see there what are the uh, prime factors that we can use. Okay, so by this we come up with 49 times 16. So we know that 49 and 16 are also perfect square numbers. 
and for this one it's smaller perfect square number and uh, this one I know that you know this already how uh, what is the, uh, the square root of these numbers right so 49 is definitely 7 and 16 is 4 so we can write 49 as 7 power 2 and for 16 4 power 2 okay there we go so again the same as what we did for the first example since that we have already power to here and power to here, we can move this out of the radical sign and move this one out to out of the radical sign. So remember that if we have power to here, it will be canceled out. So it will be canceled out with the radical sign because it's one half. So we have here 7 times 4 and 7 times 4 is 28. So therefore, the square root of 784 is 28. But this thing is easy. Yes, just only follow the, the method. Just make it reduce the number, look for a number like for the factors or look for any perfect square that you can replace with that bigger number. Okay? Now we go to the next example. We have this one. Uh 1600. So the square root of 1600. Now remember that this is 16, you see? 16. Now, what number that you can multiply, multiply with 16? That is 4 times 4, right? If you're going to multiply 4 times 4, it will give you 16. But this one is 1,000, okay, or 1,600. So, we're going to add 0 to our 4 so that we can have this one. And we have 40 times 40. So, if you're going to multiply 40 times 40, it will give you 1,600 or 1,600. Okay, now by this, you have 40. So it's not a perfect square, right? It's not a perfect square yet. So we can reduce that by 8 times 5. Remember, 8 times 5 is 40, right? And 8 times 5 is 40. And also, we can reduce this. We can have this already as 8 power 2 or 5 power 2. But still, if you like to reduce that, we can write just like this one. 4... 4 times 2 is 8, then we have here 5, then 4 times 2 is 8. Okay? Now, we can make this again combine. So, using the product for exponential, for the indice, uh, ex exponential, we have here 4 and 4. That will be uh, 4 power 2. Then 2 and 2. That is 2 power 2. Okay? You will see that the same base, we add the power, right? If the same base, we add the power. So for 5, we have here 5 and 5, that is 1 and 1, or 2. Now you will see that all of this having power 2. So meaning to say that we can move this out of the radical sign already. So we have here 4 times 2 times 5. And that would be 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8 times 5 is 40. Therefore, the square root of 1,600 is 40. It's easy, right? Okay, we go to the last example we have here. This one, uh, square root of 625. Okay, so this is still a big number. Now, we can reduce this or replace with the number which is 125 times 5. Okay, now 125, we can reduce that also. 125 is, when we divide that by 5, it will give you 25 times 5. 25 times 5 is 125. Times 5 again. So you will see that for this one, we can write this as 5 power 2. And we have here, so we the same base, we add the power, 1, 1, 5 power 2 also. So we have there. So for this one, is 5 power 2. And for these two bases, which is 5 and having the same power, 1, 1, you have 2 also. So we can transpose this outside because, again, it contains power 2. We have 5 times 5, or that is 25. So that's it. So that's the, how you get the square root of perfect square numbers. So I hope that you understand how to get the square root. Again, remember that um, when you get the, the square root for this method, just uh, use the tree diagram or the short division method. You use the in factoring the prime uh, prime numbers, and you will see there. You will see there um, 
what are the factors that you need to make into power 2. Okay, so you will see there. Because our purpose here to have a power 2 so, so that it will be uh, transposed outside. It will be, if we're going to have that with the radical sign, it will be cancelled out. Okay, the power then, it will go out. There's, more, there's no more radical sign. Question for this. You don't have any question? I hope so. And again, that's all for this one. And hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.